Hello everyone, this is Moses from Out There Gardens. I'm going to be talking about one of the first videos I've ever created or recorded or uploaded onto YouTube and that was how to prune a pomegranate into a tree. That was a video, I'm not going to be talking about that today. I'll link that up in the screen right now. On uh, It's a very old video, it's when Sean was only like two and a half years old I think, maybe three. It's a funny one. No editing. I don't even think I said hello or bye. So so here's a pomegranate that I uh, pruned for years into a tree, beautifully, in my opinion, of course. I just love the way a pomegranate looks as a tree instead of a bush. But what's happening, let me get a better angle, is that the all pomegranates want to be a bush. They don't want to be a tree. So years and years and years, you could see that the mass of the roots are sending up shoots and it's pushing the tree over and over and over and I think this is going to be the year where the tree is going to finally break from having too much fruit on it. So I got to replace it. So instead of just pruning out the whole base of the roots that are coming up, I kept a few. But my wife and the rest of my family members don't like that this is a uh, clear pomegranate. I think uh, uh, Eversweet, I'm not too sure. It's, um, it's from my great aunt's backyard and it's a non-staining variety of pomegranate, but it doesn't have the tartness, it's only sweet. And they like the tart and sweet uh, combo, acidic to uh, sweetness. I have a, what is it, Chant? This is just like how it used to be years ago. You got a screwdriver? Don't hurt yourself. What are you going to do, Sean? Screw out something? Okay, I'm going to have to hurry this video up then. <laughs> so like I was saying, I have a Parfianca pomegranate. It's regarded as, by many, um, regarded as one of the best tasting pomegranates. It's on the other side of the garden, on the side yard. Um, that's on its third year in the ground. Uh, it will produce this year. Uh, so what I decided to do is graft onto this Eversweet, I'm assuming it's Eversweet, or this clear variety. Okay, Sean. You're not strong enough to break the wood? Okay. So if most of you are going to watch the video from before, it's just like how it was years ago. My son interrupting. While I'm videotaping. And he was doing something with a tool too back then. Now he's doing something again with a tool. Okay, Sean, don't run. Instead of just letting these, instead of cutting all these back, I'm going to, uh, I thinned them out to the best looking ones. And I'm grafting the Parfionka. I'm not done yet. Every one of these I'm going to graft onto it. All these bare ones. Um, so there'll be about maybe eight of them, nine of them. I'm not going to show in this video how I did this uh, graph technique, but I will show up in the link up here or here. I'm not too sure which way it's going to show. Um, where you can watch the video in the past I did on grafting apples. It's the same technique. Happy gardening, everyone. I can't remember. <laughs>